seven hours until the massacre at Firth Asylum. Amy was in the Zombie Response Squad's headquarters, a.k.a. an old RV Josh inherited from his parents, parents who Amy suspected were fairly rich. One wall featured a rack of five guns that Amy had never seen outside of an action movie or video game. Josh insisted on showing them all to her, and the footlocker of bullets and shotgun shells they had stockpiled. She nodded and tried to act impressed, but she had no idea what she was looking at. The guns all looked like they would knock her over if she tried to shoot one. Josh insisted this wasn't the case and that he would show her how to shoot if she wanted. He asked her if she wanted anything to drink or to eat or, you know, anything else because he was there for her. Massages, boob inspections, whatever. Amy couldn't get John on the phone, but at this point she expected that and, to be honest, hated his guts for it. Josh was on his laptop now, showing her a map of Undisclosed that somebody was updating with zombie sightings. There was a big red blob in one corner, and Amy asked if that meant there were a lot of zombies there, or if there was just one flamboyant zombie who was really easy to see. Uh, that's the hospital there. They fenced it off and used it as a quarantine. They've got the place built up like a supermax prison now, but it got so bad that not even the CDC staff could stay inside it. Now it's a dumping ground. When somebody in town turns up infected, they move them there, behind the fences. So that area is pretty much 100% infected, because if you're not, but they stick you in there anyway, well... How long are you going to last? But they don't know for sure who's infected and who's not. Right. So if your neighbor or whatever calls them and says they suspect you're infected, you get dumped into that camp or whatever, which is full of hundreds of people who are infected and have turned into monsters and stuff. That's what we're hearing, yes. Oh, wow. That's like the worst thing I've ever heard. That's what I was saying at the meeting. If you're the government and your job is to make sure this thing doesn't spread and once you finish sweeping the town and... Have everybody who might be infected all in this big red blotch here, and you know for a fact that they can't be cured, what do you do with the red blotch? I'm thinking one Moab would do it. Fuel air bomb that would cook everything within a square mile to 4,000 degrees. I bet the guy who invented that had a really weird relationship with his mother. What? Do we know what they plan to do? Unfortunately, no. I checked the list on their website. David wasn't on there at all. What do you think that means? I think it means that keeping people informed isn't their top priority. Look at this. Amy leaned over Josh's shoulder and watched a black and white video clip play out. It didn't look like anything. Some dark squares and tiny dots. At the center were white crosshairs and some numbers were ticking off in the corners. It's aerial video. A military pilot leaked it. I think it's a gun camera. This big dark bunch of rectangles here, that's the hospital. If they zoomed out, you'd see the, re you'd see the Reaper headquarters next to the upper left. But it's off screen on this view. See this? You can sort of see the fencing and stuff around the edge of the quarantine. He'll zoom in in a second to get a view of the yard. The shot blinked in as the pilot upped the magnification. Much clearer now. Amy can make out the dots as people, and make out the shapes outside the fence as tents and trucks. It zoomed in again. Now she could see the people in some detail, enough to tell the difference between someone sitting and standing, and when someone raised their hand to their mouth to smoke or eat something. She said, Wait, that's inside the fence? Those are the infected monster zombies? They're just standing around. They look like people. No. See this blotch here? That white part is in the middle. That's heat. Fire. See all the stuff jutting out on all sides? Look close. Those are bodies. Skeletons of uninfected victims they've killed. They seem to be burning them in some kind of primitive ritual. David, look! What? That's David. I see him. Are, are you sure? At this resolution, I couldn't even tell you which ones are women and which are... Oh my god. He's right there. Oh my god. I, I have to tell John. Josh was still protesting, but Amy could have read David's body language from outer space. He was staring at the fence with his arms folded, and he was really, really mad. She said, We have to get him out of there tonight, or tomorrow morning. How soon can we get down there? Amy, even if we wanted to risk a breach of the quarantine, do you want me to point out all the military vehicles surrounding that place? Plus whatever aircraft this video came from? You heard me say it's a gun camera, right? Then I'll go myself. That's what I was trying to do. Get them to take me to that place. That's what I was doing, and you stopped me, and now I'm here, and David is there, and they're going to heat it to 4,000 degrees. Amy, if that's really him, and he's in there with those... things, then it might not really be him anymore. In fact, it almost certainly isn't. Uh-huh. So how soon can we be down there? 